Clay introduced the planar defense mechanic on Don't Starve 10 years anniversary. Yay! After seeing how much it can reduce my weapon damage, I decided to dive into the mechanic and see how it affects my weapon and armor choices in the future. Step the new punch bag with every weapon you have. Yes, Clay designed three new stylish punch bags. You'll quickly realize Dark Sword is only as strong as Battle Spear and Spear is only as strong as Axe. The portion of damage reduced is different in different weapons. So is my enemy's defense not based on my enemy's defense but based on my damage? This is planar defense formula. It uses weapon damage to calculate the final damage. Let's draw its graph. The graph says planar defense is very racist against strong weapons and strong characters. Planar defense reduces strong attacks by a huge portion but reduces nearly none to a weak attack like fire damage. Its negative impact is a big problem because we prefer to use stronger attacks. But don't worry, because we now also have planar damage, which ignores any type of defense and can deal full damage. Our weapons can have that, and mobs can also have that. Great. But wait, there is more. Because we also have another flat number planar defense. It blocks a flat number of damage from planar damage. Wait, it's confusing. Planar damage can ignore planar defense, but planar defense can then block planar damage? What? Okay, let me explain. The term planar defense has been used to mean two different things. Some armors have bonus damage block. The damage block is called planar defense, but they should be called damage block, or planar block, or bonus block. However, those armors are still regular armor type. In contrast to regular armor type, there is another type of armor also uses the same term, planar defense. This time it's an armor type that uses a special formula to calculate damage reduction. In short, one is planar armor type and one is planar damage block. They share the same name, but I think they should have different names. We'll never get planar armor for characters because they suck. We'll only get regular armor with damage block. Let's apply this knowledge to some real cases. When a Brightshade sword hit a deadly Brightshade, whose defense type is planar, the sword's 38 regular damage is reduced by the formula, and its 30 planar damage ignores the plant's defense. So it should deal 26.7 regular damage and a 30 planar damage, 56.7 damage in total. But because the punch bag doesn't round up, it only rounds down. The displayed number is 56 instead of 57. When the deadly bright shade retaliates and hits my dreadstone armor, the armor type is 90% regular reduction. 100 regular damage is reduced to 10. 30 planar damage ignores regular armor but gets blocked by bonus block. So the final damage is 30. As you can see, regular damage interacts with reduction formulas, but planar damage only interacts with damage blocks. You may ask, why would the game add such a complicated combat system? My theory is that it's created to balance the game and gatekeep the final bosses. In the late game, we should have stronger bosses with more health, and we want stronger weapons. But if the new weapon gets X% percent stronger than Dark Sword, then all the old bosses will be X% percent weaker. To maintain the current balance of the game and keep old content as challenging and enjoyable, the base number of best weapon has to be kept by Dark Sword. That's why the new sword deals the same damage as Dark Sword. With the new system, both worlds can coexist. Old gears are weaker than the new gears in fighting new bosses because of the planar defense. But the new gears are not stronger than old gears in fighting old bosses. It creates more freedom for the game to create powerful new bosses without worrying about trivializing old bosses. Final bosses have gatekeeping mechanics. The summoning of Celestial Champion and Fear Weaver require completion of many quests and defeat of other bosses. Those are hard gatekeeping. They also have soft gatekeeping. Fear Weaver requires Lazy Explorer and Weather Pain, but those items are optional if you're a pro. The same is true with Celestial Champion. Future bosses will certainly have both soft and hard gatekeeping mechanics too. Brightshade and Dreadstone Gears are one of the soft gatekeeping. They're optional, but they will make the fight a lot easier. Note that the game is still tuning the planar system. Like recently, the formula has improved the damage by about 50% over its predecessor. The number may change again in the future. If there's one takeaway is this. In the old world, it's a waste of energy to go through trouble to get the new items because they're not stronger. Dark swords are still the king of the old world.